Well, on the note of like finishing stuff, you're working on new music, but um, specifically when you do finish an album, I'm just really curious, like what space you find yourself in creatively. Is it like to create more or are you like taking time to reflect on like the product you just finished? I don't know what the hell is going to happen after. I kind of want to keep making stuff, but I also like want to like have a life and do stuff. So I don't know. I think it'll be a mixture of stuff. What's up? How you doing? Good. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much for uh, the time today. It's really cool to get to talk to you. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. We're on some short time, so I'm diving right into it. Uh, congrats on everything, by the way. The song, the tour, like the album. You finally wrapped everything in Atlanta. Um, and I'm curious, like you're a seasoned pro at this point, but this trip around, what have you kind of like learned? God, dude, it's been it's been long. Like we started this tour in like January, February of 2022 and really actually low key in September of 2021. So literally two years. Um, It's been it's been wild. I feel like just the person I was from the beginning of this tour to to the end is like complete night and day uh, full, full, like 180. Um, But I don't know. I've learned so much. I've learned so much about myself. I think that, you know, COVID and having like those couple years of like not being able to like do anything and, you know, perform like really made me like lose who the hell I was, as I'm sure it did for a lot of people. But like, I think when I started that tour, I had no idea what I was doing and no idea who I was or what I liked or how to move really at all. And I think that I hold very dear to me, like, where it ended and like looking at the photos from the beginning to the end and being like wow like the person that i am now is like a person that really knows herself and like really i feel like has figured it out for the most part in like only certain eras of areas of my life as you know i'm not a genius in the world but like i don't know i feel good i feel good yeah it's amazing i love that well, on the note of like finishing stuff, you're working on new music, but um, specifically when you do finish an album, I'm just really curious, like what space you find yourself in creatively. Is it like to create more or are you like taking time to reflect on like the product you just finished? Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's funny. Like, <laughs> you know, you work on an album and you're that's what you're doing for however long it takes you. And then you finish it and then it's just like nothing. And it's yeah. weird. Like. It's just like such a weird like here, here, here and then bink, and then you like are doing something completely different. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we right now we're in like the kind of closer to the end stages of making this album that we're that we're making right now. And um, it's I don't know. It's 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 always a tricky thing because, you know, my brother and I don't live together. We we have separate lives. We have separate friends. We have separate houses. We have, you know, we do different things. And so what's really amazing is like, you know, I hear people talk so much about like, you know, how there's like that saying that's like uh, that people are always like really sad about, which is like a devastating saying that's like somebody says that you're you've already spent most of the time you're going to ever spend oh, with your God. sibling. Kills like, me that's horrifying like it's such it's so upsetting but with my brother that's just not true you know because we work together and we get to be with each other all the time but it is really nice having the excuse to hang out which is working together and so yeah when when an album is finished we're kind of like can like what do we how do we do this so i don't know i'm gonna i don't know what the hell is gonna happen after i kind of want to keep making stuff but i also like want to like have a life and do stuff so i don't know i think it'll be a mixture of stuff It'll come to you when that time, you know, comes amazing. Right. Uh, making music now, do you notice, do you make it for you or do you make it for others? Good question. Um, Honestly, Phineas and I were just talking about this. He said it, I don't know how he put it. He was saying that with this album specifically, it's the kind of thing where like, if somebody, like if you think about if somebody had if somebody asked us for whatever reason to make something that no one's ever going to hear and we only like it and it doesn't matter what anybody thinks because we're the only ones that are going to hear it. And as soon as we finish it, it's going to get thrown away for some reason. We would be making the same album like because we are making an album that like we like. And I think that at the beginning of the making of it, there was a lot of like, 
I was very in my head about like, what are people going to want? Like, what are they going to think is cool? Are they going to like this? And why, what do people want me to do? Why, you know, you know, I was just very in my head about it. And I literally had a moment of like, hold on. Like the reason that people, you know, liked me in the first place was because I just was doing what I wanted to do. And that's how it is for everyone. Like there's that audio that I've heard in like TikTok videos that are like, my mom told me to just be myself and people would like me. And like, I think we all forget about that. Like we should just do what we wanted to do because the people that are drawn to the thing we want to do are people we might actually like. Whereas if we make something or are someone and try to be someone that is not somebody or make (laughs) not somebody that we like, or we're not making something that we like, the people that are drawn to it are going to be people that maybe you don't want to like it because you don't, you know, see eye to eye. And I've been thinking about that a lot and I feel really good about like, where the music is right now and how I like it. And that's what's important to me. But I also keep like the fans in mind all the time. I'm I'm always thinking about them. So it kind of kind of goes hand in hand. And I think that they're growing with me. I think that we 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 have similar tastes at the same time. So hopefully it'll work for them. I don't know. Love it. Well, I could talk to you for hours about this stuff, but thank you so much for the time. Um, congrats on everything. And uh, <laughs> can't wait to you know do this again soon. I I love it. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.